Hey what's going on guys and girls, Looney here, welcome back to yet another coding tutorial. I kinda wanna start off as I I had something wrong with my computer, it randomly corrupted like every single hard drive that I had in it. So the entire part of yesterday I was getting all my stuff back. Um so I had no choice but to go with Windows 8. So it obviously if there's any like shortcuts like that I accidentally open up over here or or I don't know, I click something or whatever. Um, that show up, I'm sorry, I'm still getting used to it. But anyway, in this tutorial we're going to be doing cooldowns. Um, they're actually pretty simple and we kind of need one um, for other stuff. I have done one for the blaze rod, or basically for the um, uh, for the toggling players, it's pretty easy to do. So I thought that I would do a tutorial. Um, so one thing that you should notice is that I removed the interact, uh, well, the um, actions for the nether star and stuff like this. Um, reason why is because I don't really need them. Um, but anyway, let's actually get into it. So we want to go ahead and remove the open GUI, and we want to go ahead and, and first we need to go ahead and add, uh, add a list. So list layer, uh, call it something like GUI cooldown. Uh, and then equals new array list player. And then what that will do is it will create a new array list for us. Basically, in a, li a list that will store players. Go ahead and import list and array list. I've already done this, so it won't show up. And then we want to go ahead and reverse a statement straight away. So we basically want to check if the player isn't in the cooldown. Um, so you obviously want to do the exclamation mark, which means if it doesn't, so it would go to if GUI cooldown doesn't contain a player, and then obviously this. Um, but here we want to go ahead and do else p dot send message jack color dot red plus you need to wait three seconds to do that because I'm going to make sure that they can only do it every three seconds. Um, inside of here, I'm going to go ahead and open GUI, the player, and GUI cooldown dot add the player, and then we're going to have a um, basically a um, schedule async delay test. So it delays it for like three seconds, and then obviously it removes it. So bucket dot get scheduler dot schedule async I should actually spell schedule right. But it's not really working. God damn it. Uh, schedule. Async. Delay t repeating. Uh, not, not repeating, sorry. Delay task. And then we're going to go ahead and do plugin. Um, because we are going to refer back to the main class. And then here we're going to go ahead and do new runnable. And here you can actually just go ahead and put a comma and then like 60L, which would mean 60 large, which also means um, 60 ticks basically. Add unimplemented methods, remove the at override, remove this todo, um, and you want to go ahead and do GUI cooldown dot remove P, and that will go ahead and remove the player. And if you want, you could even send the player a message saying you may now use the uh, the GUI thing. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. You don't send message. Chat color dot green. You may now use the inventory. Actually, no, the navigation menu. It looks. Oh, it seems much much better. Um. So that is that. We can go ahead and export this now. I'm just going to go ahead and export this to my uh, desktop. Hi guys, so I got the server up and running and there's no errors. Uh, it was enabled. And what I may do every episode is to actually show you guys when I've actually recorded this. Like, as you can see, 16-16, Friday the 4th of July. Uh, it should actually be out on that day as well, this, this recording. Uh, just so you guys know when I actually record these and how long it takes me to actually edit and upload. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and connect to the server. And I'm in. So if I open this up, oh, uh, not that one. 
If I open this one up, I can open it, but if I try and do it again, it won't let me. And then after three seconds are gone, it says you may now use the navigation menu. And, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's how you pretty much do a cooldown. Like I said, I kind of did it for the, um, uh, the, the, the toggle and the players as well. Um, but yeah, I didn't do the exact same way. I didn't send the player a message um, for when they could actually do it again. But yeah guys, it's pretty simple, like a six minute tutorial, not even that. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.